This is Lady Maya, and I am here with Miss Deborah Lawson, and she is the CEO of Lex Tro Latropolis. I'm sorry, Latropolis <laughs> Magazine. And she has been for five years, you guys, okay? She's also an administrative officer of the JLD Inc. and Logan Builders LLC. And she's gonna tell us a little bit more about that as well. Also being a coordinator or retired coordinator for the Children of Lexington Powell and was dealing with all of the public services that went along with it. You guys, Please welcome Miss Deborah. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello, my dear. Okay, so you know what? I love your energy, and we're going to get it done. We're going to okay. do this, thing and we're going to show these people how it's done. Okay? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So, you have been in starting this magazine. What made you do that? Well, um, a few years ago, I, like you said, I was working for the police department here in Lexington, Kentucky, uh, through their community service division. And once I retired, I finally had an opportunity to sit down and watch television because my days were long. They were 10 to 12 hours almost every day. And mm -hmm. so in doing so, watching television, I did not like how our communities were being portrayed. Uh, I spent many years trying to show children the positive aspects of life and the positive paths to take and to see that that's all that they had to see, you know, the negative that they've seen, seen on television just broke my heart because I felt like if that's all they have to watch and see us individuals as Black people, then they didn't have a shot, you know? And so I wanted, I felt like that they needed to see more people of color, people who look like them doing positive things. Wow. Yes. So look, I believe the children are our future. Teach them well. Let them <laughs> lead the way. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm not going to sing today. Okay. <laughs> but y'all get my drift. <laughs> All righty. So you being an administrator in the office of the JLD Inc. So what what did you do there? Well, I'm actually still here. That's my day job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been here 27 years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a family-owned company. It was founded and started by my dad, John Logan Jr. John Logan Sr., I'm sorry. And mm -hmm. um, I've been here, like I said, 27 years. We do more inside construction we hang and finish drywall cuticle ceilings and all that kind of stuff and we have we're not doing more residential we're doing more commercial now and so we've been in business we celebrated 50 years last year in 2019 from 1969 to 2019 and i think my dad would be very proud of us uh, my brother came on after my dad passed in 2003 and we have really been going strong, uh, getting some larger jobs, and we have built homes. The Logan Builders LLC aspect is where we're building homes from the ground up. Yeah. So we have built a total of probably 25 homes here in the city and surrounding areas. Wow, that is amazing. See, keep it in the community, people. This is what you're Absolutely. saying. This is what we need to do more of. Okay, so tell me, how did you get into PAL, though? How did that come about? Well, <laughs> my son, I have two children, um, a daughter and a son. And my son is the youngest one. And he was playing football with the PAL program. My ex-husband was one of the coaches. My brother coached, both brothers coached as well. Uh, football kind of runs in our family. Uh, one of my brothers played pro ball for a number of years. And so he wanted to give back. And so one of the people who was over the PAL program at that particular time, she reached out to me 
and asked me, no, she didn't ask me. She told me, <laughs> I need you. <laughs> and we've been best friends ever since, pretty much. We got to know each other and our friendship grew. And today she's one of my best friends. Hmm. It's nothing like friendship, right? <laughs> right, right, right. like friendship. Okay, well, let me ask you this. And this is just um, in reference to your magazine. What, what else can you explain that people can kind of get out of it? Because I do understand that, you know, you're giving stories and different things like that. But what are you giving as far as for the communities, the, the business communities aspect? How, how is this showcasing those things? Well, I uh, started out, one of the things I wanted to do, because I am an entrepreneur myself, is I wanted to spotlight or highlight minority businesses in our city. So every month we would spotlight one business, you know, what their services were or whatever. And that's free advertising for them because I didn't require anything to do that. Um, and I would share it on all our social media outlets, uh, you know, Twitter, Instagram, and so forth. And that became really great because they were getting, you know, uh, free advertising. And so, but it, it, you know, it, all of them are not free advertising. We operate on advertising dollars. And so I would love for, you know, individuals to support us by advertising. Okay. You know what? Hey, there it is. Advertisement at its fullest. Hey, it's so important because, you know, really a lot is. of times people advertise one time and they think millions of people are supposed to see it for that one time. But I've learned over the years that it takes consistency. You know, people have to see you more than once to understand that you're, you know, out there. And my favorite saying is, um, stop advertising in the dark. It's like blowing a kiss to someone and no one knows it but you, you know, so... Uh, <laughs> it's sad to be out here spending all this time and effort trying to create and do a business and nobody knows about you but you. Yes, that's true. That is very true. That's like, you know, oh, anything in the dark. <laughs> nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows. So let me ask you this. Where would you like for your business to go forward? Ooh, that's a loaded question. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> because like with anyone that starts a business, they have, have aspirations for it to grow and get bigger and bigger. Um, there's Lextropolis in every city and every state, you know, and we all have stories. We all have things happening in our communities that the stories are not being told. You know, you can pick up an Essence or you can pick up an Ebony, but they're telling the stories of a whole of a nation. And a lot of times you can't identify with those stories mm -hmm. and so people like to see themselves you know somebody like this oh it's joe up the street he i didn't know joe was doing that you know mm -hmm. well that's mm -hmm. little johnny he's you know graduated with a 4.0 he's going mm -hmm. to Harvard. you know mm -hmm. those type of things and i'm all about the children I, I i want them to again be able to see people that look like them doing great things because they can then strive to do better things Mm hmm that is very true i mean but and then you're showing children not only can they strive it's possible it's possible always a good thing because you look at these kids nowadays they keep telling us i don't want to work for nobody and they're finding ways to work for themselves here it is we we've, we've been taught you know like okay well you know you, you graduate, you go to high, you go to college, you get a job, you stay to, you stay with the job, and they they'll give you some benefits when you retire. Yeah, but that's and not even happening anymore because the I, anymore. right, the IBMs, the train companies, they are, you know, closing their doors or they mm -hmm. are, you know, simplifying things where they're letting people off, and yeah. so you can't go and work a job for thirty years anymore. No, you can't. You know, the longevity is big on. Yeah. It's been gone. So mm -hmm. we have to be able to show our kids ways to create um, businesses for themselves and create generational wealth, you yeah. know? Um, and you don't have to be a CEO of a 
media company. You can be a plumber. You can be an electrician. It doesn't matter what the job choice is. Just be the best at it. Yes. Yes. And don't be stressed. <laughs> That's always helps. <laughs> Well, stress comes along with it, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that's true. You know, but with um, that being said, you can't be afraid to fail. You know, you're going to, no. everything is not going to be, uh, oh, you know, okie dokie all the way. You're going to mm -hmm. come across some trials and tribulations to help you, but you grow from that. You don't stop. You just keep going. Because exactly. I'm 62 years old. You mm. could not have told me that I would be doing this today. Mm -hmm. this is not this was not on my agenda you know but we all know we all know who has the final play and who has the final say and mm -hmm. this has all been him this mm -hmm. is all been him the success of the Lextropolis I give totally to him mm -hmm. yes okay because you know <laughs> look at God okay that's all I'm gonna say look at God he 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 knows when the time, the day, all the hour that it's going to come to you. And he set you up for that very thing. And so, you, honey, you're doing it. You're doing it. So let me ask you this. Where can my viewers reach you for getting advertisements in your magazine? Oh, that's easy. They can find me on Facebook. <laughs> or they can find me on Twitter. They can find me on Instagram and LinkedIn, but they can also email me at lextropolisbb at gmail.com. And again, that's lextropolisbb, and that's black business to mm -hmm. help you to remember, at gmail.com. And our number is 859-429-1442. I'm sorry, I <laughs> kind of lost it for a minute, but 859-429-1442. And as for Deborah Lawson, and I'll be glad to help you. Yes. Okay. Advertisement, you guys. Free ad well not free advertisement because you yeah. Look, yeah, but you know what me. I will do? You know yeah. what I will do? If they mention this show, I'll give them a 10% discount. Uh-oh. See? Blessings, people. Blessings. <laughs> I'm trying to help you help yourself. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> she is a phenomenal person and she's an even better business person she is just so sweet and just loving and kind she's does she just exudes just joy and happiness and it's it's going to be contagious you guys you're going to be just sitting there cheeks hurting and all that good stuff <laughs> just when you talk to her. <laughs> but but they must also go to our website i forgot to mention and it's mm -hmm. www.thelextropolis.com all righty, so that was www.lextropolis. The T H E lextropolis.com. Okay. And I, what I like about that is people are able to see our growth. You can see the very first magazine all the way up to the one that we just released. And we yeah. do release monthly. Wow. See, and hey, you guys, and like, everybody's getting it everybody so it's 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 advertising for the masses and everybody's so willing to read what's going on in their neck of the woods and expose you to those that are looking for you are you know are people <laughs> so absolutely but the, the magazine has stories or articles that you can benefit from no matter where you live mm -hmm. you know of course there are some stories that are specifically for our area here but again mm -hmm. when we're talking about finances and talking about mental health and those things those are things that you can take away from wherever you live i have mm -hmm. a friend who lives in egypt and he he lists he gets the magazine every month just like everybody else mm. and it's it's amazing what technology has done you know um if you have a business in south carolina or if you have a business in california if it's an online business why not advertise online you know with mm -hmm. me and you're reaching out a whole different region where yeah. you can probably get more sales there so let's talk <laughs> hey. 
she gonna give y'all something to talk about. Y'all better get in it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, well, if there's anything else you would like to say to the masses, dear heart, the floor is yours. Well, first of all, I just want to say I totally and thoroughly appreciate you giving me the opportunity to join you on your radio show. This is phenomenal, you know. It's also funny that sometimes people outside of a community where you do your business see more value in what you do than those mm -hmm. around you. Not saying that my community does not support me because they do. I think uh, sometimes we get taken for granted because we're right here, you know. But I love it. I, I, I know where we can go. I see the vision. I see so far ahead of where I am right now. And I just need other people to see that, you know. And um, so I just thank you again. And I ask the people to log on and find us on social media. Uh, join our web pages. Um, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And I promise you, you, you will love it. Yes. Okay, you guys, you hear, you heard it here. Not first, but you heard it here. <laughs> I'm just getting in on this bus, okay? But I'm just letting you know she's a sweet woman. Please, please, please get a hold of her. She will, she will make it, she'll make it right for you. She'll make it right for you. All you got to do is ask. Absolutely. So, yes. Yes. And so we are going to sign off. Thank you so much for joining me, Lady Maya. I hope you guys have a most wonderful and fantastic, spectacular day. And just be safe and do everything that you need to do to keep everyone that you love safe as well. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care.